Bentenga Studios, Major Gaze, F Mod. Another Cold War RTS. This time, uh, th th this time is a Slytherin ga game, and it's supposed to be much more simulatory and less pretty, and but maybe easier to use. Which that being said, I, I will return to War Game Red Dragon. It's just uh, that was annoying. The tutorial in that game is just annoying, without being able to swap a paragraph, which is more annoying. So let's hope this game doesn't have such issues. Uh, tutorial mode, turn that off. Because it's hard for me to read these days. So, yeah. Or it's hard. Well, but, but it's not hard for me to read. Okay, yeah, it is hard for me to read, but it's harder for me to read, uh, to read and talk out loud. Uh, keep everything on center for right now. New game. A single mission. Okay, it's one of those games where you play different missions. Oh, however, you can make your own. Make sure you generate the mission. New game. Dairy mission. Map list. Uh, Doctor in plane. Exercise. Let's keep it simple. That is simple. Oh, they got like this location on it. Okay. How about we're in Hamburg? That should be fine. U.S. Army versus USSR. We also got Finland. Uh, Federal Republic of Germany. Ger uh, German Democratic Republic. Also known as East Germany. So West Germany, East Germany. I think. Um, British Army, Poland, Yugoslavia, Italy, France, Belgium, USA. Uh, now there are DLCs. The game itself. Uh, the game, I think, I think the game came out recently on Steam. However, the Steam release date says November 15th, 2018, which is an actual release date. Which, that's when it released the Slytherin, uh, Slytherin, uh, excuse, uh, Sith, it's Sithurin, uh, which is a, uh, which is a developer I like, I mean, which is a publisher that I like, and they do, they have their own store and stuff like that, they, and they put up their games on Steam, they mostly do strategy games. Um, and its price on Steam is three, uh, three, uh, thirty-nine dollars and nine cents. Right, the each DLC is fourteen dollars and nine cents. One has Prince in Belgium, the other one has Italy and Yugoslavia. And uh, and pretty, uh, that's uh, pretty much it. I got this one sale, and yeah, play U.S. Army. Alright, I'm looking at some tree dynamic armored. How about the armored and armor keep it simple? So, yeah, I, this is a really in depth editor. Midday.
make it as recent as possible so you can so you can start as early as 65 or as late as 1991. Actually, let's give it to the 80s, mid 80s. There we go. Um, let's go. Start here. They start here. Okay, so I'm gonna get more details. I'm liking it already. I'm really liking this mission editor. Now we pick our units. Or is this what we have? Okay, it, okay, this is us picking. Uh, close our sport, yeah. Oh, you double click. That's okay, and then you got the individual points here for um, because we're doing armored, we're not doing balanced. Uh, we can only pick our most of our forces are armored. Chiefs will playing us a lot. Okay, we're playing, uh, we're playing, uh, Abrams versus everything. Let's do this. Also, I'm a bit tired, but it should, but it should be fine. So, no sound so far. If you're playing on the entire map, which we aren't. Alright, so it plays like a yeah, normal war game. Sport, what's that? Got none of them, but I'm trying to figure out how to deploy my tanks. Oh, there they are. Oh, I thought we were doing things. Oh, wait, hold on, my eye. Yeah, recently my eyes have been extremely watery and. Uh, and yes, nonsense. All right. Let's go over there. Okay, so this is a simple interface. I knew this. I, I knew it going in. And it kind of requires you to know the NATO uh, icons. It's possible real time. Did no neutral spot. <laughs> uh, is there any place we can go that'd be better? And just camping in the corner? Probably not. Three meters. This is a flat map.
Gotcha. Suck a on these dead jocks. Abrams, you advantage. Being able to snipe. Ah, that's cute. The R in this game. Overall, it works. It looks just fine. Why aren't you moving? I can comment. You can tell. Can talk to me individually. Interesting. Why you need to advance over there? Cross that river. Go here and camp. Oh, really? Just infantry? Is that what's left? Oh, and that that's wrong. Um, the swimming could be a bit less, um... It could be a bit less, uh, staged. It could be a bit smoother. Oh, wait. How do you work? How do you delete orders? Ah, oh, delete all equipment. There we go. They're playing the pinking game. We're in a pretty good spot. But I actually want you to... Reverse, reverse. And then advance. And rotate that way. Oh, did we get it? Yeah, we got it. Got luckier than they did. Overall, I'm liking the game. <laughs> From like this small. Uh, how are you keep moving? How do you keep missing? I'm trying to let our A from get, uh, let their sides get get. You are indeed reversing. I was thinking you negotiate a turn though. You should back up like that and go straight. Are you going to do that? I wonder. Yes, you are. Very smart. Going to take the road instead, but it's not that easy. Geez, it's almost like the Russian invasion wasn't actually a big deal, it was the nukes that was. Back in the 80s. They're freaking Abrams, geez. Even just them ones are good enough. Of course, it's a small invasion. Yeah, we win. We had Abrams, they did not. Alright, let's try that again. Let's go for a bigger map, question mark? 